Hey everybody, how are you all? Welcome to this video. Today's video is my upcoming TBR for November, December and maybe going into January as well but definitely November and December to finish off the year. So I love Christmas so there's a bunch of Christmas books obviously in December. I probably won't get through them all but I'll select some of what I've got. I then have a book for when I'm away for Christmas that I want to try and read as well. If not, I'll put that one in for January. And um, this month into December, I am um, particular this month, I'm focusing on um, books that I have the first book of the series for as well just so I know if I want to continue with that series or not, if I like it or if I'm just gonna not worry about the buying the rest of the series, that kind of thing. Um, so that'll be scattered as well. Um, it's actually, I know, close to the end of November um, and I have been busy reading this first book that I'll show you. Um, it's the first book in the Inheritance Games, um, so the Inheritance Games, book number one, <laughs> um, by Jennifer Barnes, and I'm up to chapter 60, page 281, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm nearly toward the end of it. <laughs> Um, I'll read the back for you. Um, she came from nothing. Avery has a plan. Keep her head down. Work hard for a better future. Then an eccentric billionaire dies, leaving her almost his entire fortune and no one. Least of all, Avery knows why. They had everything. Now she must move into the mansion she's inherited. It's filled with secrets and codes and the old man's surviving relatives and family hell-bent on discovering why Avery got the money. Now there's only one rule, winner takes all. Soon she is caught in a deadly game that everyone in this strange family is playing. But just how far will they go to keep their fortune? Um, I'm in the middle of a really good part at the moment, um, but yeah, obviously I'll give my review when I've finished and if I'm going to continue the series or not, um, but I should finish it very soon. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I've been working on. Um, November's like a crazy month for me as well, so some of this will get shifted into other months because we're toward the end. Um, I've got the first book by Lauren Asher, um, number one, which is The Fine Print. I've heard lots of good things about this and it looks like a really easy read. Um, it says on the back, Rowan, um, I'm in the business of creating fairy tales, production companies, five star hotels, theme parks, anything can be mine if I renovate Dreamland. Hiring Zara was a great plan until I fell for her. By the time I realised where I went wrong, it was too late. People like me don't get happy endings, not when we did not destined to ruin them. And then Zara, after submitting a drunk proposal, criticising Dreamland's expensive, most expensive ride, I should have been fired. Instead, Rowan offered me a dream Job. The catch I had to work for the most difficult boss I'd ever met. Rowan was rude and completely off limits, but my heart didn't care. At least not until I discovered his secret. It was time to teach the billionaire that money couldn't fix everything, especially not us. So yeah, I'll read this first one and see if we grab the rest sometime. And I still have not read any of the Twisted Tales series, um, which is a Disney 
collection. Um, when I look on Google and stuff, the first one is A Whole New World. Um, so I need to read that one. I also have on my shelf the second and third one as well. Um, A Whole New World. Discover what it... <clears throat> sorry. Discover what would happen if Aladdin had never found the lamp. Aladdin is a street rat just trying to survive in a harsh city while Jasmine is a beautiful princess about to enter an arranged marriage. The worlds collide when the Sultan's trusted advisors suddenly rises to power and with the help of a mysterious lamp attempts to gain control over love and death. Together, Aladdin and Jasmine must unite to stop power-hungry Jafar, tearing the kingdom apart in the story of love, power, and one moment that changes everything. So yeah, um, I'll read this one. I do have the other two, but yeah, let's see what I want to do with that series as well. Um, one book that I want to get through to, and hopefully when I'm away, if not, in like the whole holiday period of December, January sometime. I want to read um, the book that I have called The Holiday Bookshop by Lucy Dickens. Um, it says on the back, are you looking to start a new chapter? Role, bookseller wanted three month contract. Location, a luxury resort on tropical island of Bounty Cove skills required the ideal candidate will have experience in retail to fill in the uh, book industry desired qualities this role will appeal to a book lover with adventurous street kids looking for an escape from their everyday life what to expect sun sea and a bookshop that is far from thriving no one said it would be smooth sailing Please note, you may fall in love with more than just the island on the way. So yeah, um, I'm going to try and read that while I'm on holidays. And then we get to all the Christmas books that I have um, been collecting and so forth and have been given. Obviously, I won't get through all of them this year. Um, so the ones I don't get to, I will just... Yeah, Lee. <laughs> this first one I got as a gift for my birthday. It's called A Hello Jelly Christmas by Katie Montinaro, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, it's a really thin, quick read. And yeah, thank you to my friend who gave it to me. Um, it says on the back, Holly has one thing and one thing only to prove to her family that she is a capable and organized adult who can host the perfect Christmas day. The only problem is Holly is neither of those two things. Disaster seems to follow, follow Holly wherever she goes. And this time it's in the shape of the Christmas um, runner. A smug stranger who appears on the worst of times taking the last of everything Holly needs to impress her family. Cue her best friend, Sean, nice in shining armor and all around good guy, even though he's made it perfectly clear that they are just friends. That lines between friends and sometimes more are becoming blurred. The more time they spend together, the more Holly can't ignore her feelings. Can Holly pull off the impossible to put on the perfect Christmas and captured the heart of the man of her dreams. In this feel-good Christmas rom-com set against the sweltering Australian summer, Holly learns that it is less perfect life looks, the more perfect life feels. Friends to lovers trope that will leave you laughing into your Christmas pudding. So yeah, I'm really excited for this. Um, this as well, I'm with my friend, we're doing a buddy read of it, um, which is my first buddy read ever, so it's going to be a really fun experience. So, um, yeah, that one's going to be fun. 
I really want to read this next one as well. It's called The Holiday Switch. I got this on my last trip to Brisbane. It's by Tiff Marcello. And on the back, it says he's switching up her holiday plans. Lila is ready for her last winter break of high school. The snowy in her small town of Holly, New York is plentiful. The mood is as cozy as a fuzzy Christmas sweater and she's earning extra cash working at the local inn. The setting of the greatest film of all time, Holiday by the Lake. While moonlighting as an autonomous book blocker, book blocker, sorry. But Lila's perfect holiday plans crash to a halt when her boss frustratingly cute nephew, Teddy, becomes her co-worker. Um, Lila is type A, Teddy is type anything but Lila's way. And the two of them can't stop butting heads over tangled icicle lights and messy gift shop merch. But when they accidentally switch phones one afternoon, they realise they've been hiding things from each other. Will their secrets um, and an unexpected snowstorm bring rivals together? So yeah, really looking forward to that one. Definitely going to read that. These next three I probably won't get to, but they're handy for either this Christmas or next Christmas. Um, and I've gotten these, one I got from a little library, the other two I got from a book sale for a dollar each. <clears throat> this one is One Christmas Star by Mandy uh, Bacarach. Um, it says on the back that Emily is set to have the worst Christmas ever. Her flatmates moved out and she closed her heart to love and she's been put in charge of writing the school's Christmas show with zero music ability. Meanwhile, disgraced superstar Ray is desperate need of quick PR turnaround, waking up from a drunken um, stop your two class of 10 year olds snapping pips was not what he had in mind. Ray needs Emily's help to delete the photos and she needs him with the show as uh, they learn to work together. They may open their hearts to a second chance of love. And this is like a perfect thing for me because I run my own music school so I know all about all that sort of stuff. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'll get to it this Christmas but looking forward to it when I do. Um, these two are uh, The Christmas Wedding Ring by Susan Mallory. This one I got at a book sale for like a dollar, so <laughs> can't beat that. Um, it just has a bunch of reviews there. Oh, it says in here, I think. Yeah, on this bit. <laughs> Um, in her youth, Molly couldn't help crushing on gorgeous bad boy Dylan, um, even though he had eyes only for her older sister. When things didn't work out between them, he said goodbye to Molly as well, vowing that they had a great adventure when she grew up. Years later, dumped by her fiancé just before Christmas, she is finally ready to take Dylan up on his promise. A guarded Dylan always had a weakness for Molly and when she waltzes back into his life grown up and gorgeous, he's stunned. So why not whisk her away for some no strings attached fun? Laughter filled days and late night kisses are changing Molly's life for good. The only gift she truly wants now is Dylan's love. But when he discovers the secret she's been keeping, she may lose him again this time forever. So yeah, typical love story. <laughs> um, oh, that's what I was going to say before I do the last one. If you're wondering where my cool book shirt is from, I found it on Shein. Um, yeah, and I really, really love it. <laughs> Definitely going to be wearing it heaps. Um, this last one is a really big one and I probably won't get to it this year. It's called With Love at Christmas by Carol, Carol Matthews. 
Um, this one I also got for a dollar at a book sale as well. Um, Juliet adores Christmas. She loves presents, the tree, the turkey, the tinsel, just everything. Already, the festive spirit is upon her, which is just as well at these Christmas things are starting to get a little out of hand. Her son Tom is out of work and bringing home a slew of unsuitable partners. Pregnant daughter Chloe and her little boy have moved back in. Juliet's father Frank is getting over a heartbreak of his own and Rita, her mother, is behaving erratically each day. And has the chaos got and has the chaos got too much for Juliet's husband Rick? With the big day fast approaching, Julia hopes that she sorry, Juliet hopes that she can stop everything spiraling out of control because the only thing she wants is her family all around her and her home to be filled with love. Christmas at Christmas. So yeah. What I don't get to Christmas wise, I'll just go to what that next Christmas obviously. But that is all the books. I definitely want to read the holiday switch Christmas wise and my buddy read one. And um, definitely want to get through the three uh, first books of series that I have. And um, hopefully we'll get to this one. If not, I'll have it as like a general read. Um, which will be fine. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Um, this, as I said, is my TBR for November and December, the rest of 2022. I am hoping to reach my goal of 30 books for the year. Um, I can't check how many I'm up to, I think. The Buffinish, um, the one that I'm on, which is the Inheritance game, I think that brings me to 23. So I'm not sure if I'll make it, but even that itself is a huge, massive achievement for me because last year I only read seven books, so I am... Um, yeah, I'm just super happy with where I'm at and most of all just loving the book life <laughs> like I'm sure all of you guys are. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching all my book related videos. Um, stay tuned on um, my Goodreads which is under my name. I'll pop that in the description for you all. And also at my Instagram as well, Evie's blog, because um, if I do like a book haul or something like that, I'll just pop it onto there with a photo or something until I get a chance to film it. Um, yeah, or I'll just pop the photo up depending on how busy I am. Um, yeah. Thank you again for watching, please thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you all very very soon. Um, if you don't watch another one of my videos before Christmas, have a wonderful Christmas and a new year and all that kind of thing. And I'll chat to you all very very soon about books. Bye!